Okay, so I haven't actually tried this one, so you're gonna see me do it live as I'm doing it. So when I see this, I do dy dx is equal to is equal to tan y over tan x, and then I can say that uh, if I rewrite this, one over tangent x dy is equal to one sorry tangent y is equal to one over tangent x dx which I know I'm going to integrate this both if I rewrite this this I know is sine y over cosine y dy and sine x over cosine x. And finding this particular integral, I'm going to use a u substitution. So I'm going to say u is equal to cosine of y. So du is equal to sine of y dy. Derivative of sine is a positive cosine, so that's good. And so I get 1 over u du is equal to, this one here is going to be the same thing, but I'm going to use a different variable as opposed to u. We'll call it t. So I'm going to get 1 over t dt. The same thing applies. So now if I integrate that, I get ln u is equal to ln t plus c, which is going to be u is equal to e to the c times t. Well, u I know is cosine y. So it's going to equal to e to the c times the sine of, oh, not the sine, uh, the cosine of x. And the initial value says y at 2 is 2. So it says y at 2 equals 2. So I get cosine 2 is equal to e to the c of cosine of 2. Dividing that, I get e to the c is equal to 1. And so that means cosine of y is equal to the cosine of x. So now when I have cosine y equals cosine x, if I think about this, I have to recognize that y and x are angles. And it says that these angles have to be the same. So if those angles have to be the same, I know that y has to equal to x. But if I think about the unit circle, if this is my angle, let's say y, this could also be x, but it could also, that might be x, or that might be x, or this might be x. And so it's going to be plus 2 pi k, or k is an integer. And so that's going to be the solution to the problem of how it works out. So just to recap, we rewrite it in terms of uh, sines and cosines. We come along in terms of sine and cosine. We use a u substitution here. It's the same u substitution except I did a t substitution. Uh, natural logarithm is used, and then we go and we replace it back with the cosines. We use our initial value, and I have to recognize that these are both angles, and so this is what makes the angles the same.